Hello everyone, it's Alex. Today's tutorial is about uh, how to create a memory game using Quick in some external code. Memory game is one of the top requests in the tutorial request forum and hopefully this uh, today will help you to understand better how to create the game and how to improve this, this simple one that I'm, I'm creating showing you today. So let's see how it's gonna uh, end and from that I'm gonna do a mixed tutorial today. Part of the tutorial is going to be in the video, the one that you are seeing right now, watching right now, and part will be written uh, just below the, the video window in, in our tutorial page. So this is the memory game. Basically what we'll be able to do is to pick a card and if they do not match they will close again and you go to the second one. Not matching yet. So, oh, here's, there's a match, I believe it is here, another match, this one here, another match, and you have the match, okay? So, what we need for this tutorial, let me start with that. Besides your project in Quick that we are going to create in a while, you're going to need um, a few external files. Okay, so let me open here, and the files that you're going to need are pretty much the the image that I just show you let me find is okay memory text you're gonna need you know in our example here there's four images different images so you're gonna need the four image in this particular example you're gonna need to name them as p1 as page one underscore photo one two three and four but again, reading the, the information just below this video, you're going to be able to change it if it's the case. But in my case, I need the four ones. The four ones, they are not going to be part in, of the Photoshop composition, but they are going to be called uh, later on in the game. So when you have them, they must be the exactly uh, size of the, the cover card. I'm just using a blank here, but you could add another image this blank image you are going to create in, inside your Photoshop project, in Quick project. But when you have the, 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 the photos in the same size of them, all you have to do when you, of course, we have your project export, is to move them to the images folder under your build size. Okay? So again, those are four images that we are going to need to create and add later into our uh, a build folder. Okay, so let's see how it does work in Quick. Uh, because this is an expert expert tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to create a project. I'm going to just go directly to the, the, the project. For this project, we are going to need uh, Quick 2.2.4 or above. So I just updated the, this version uh, uh, earlier today. And you need this because I have... I add some things that are important to you and also some fix that are need for, for this kind of project. So, so first thing to do is to create the base uh, board, let's say. So I have this layer one here, which is the background and I am, instead of generate an image here, I'm just painted uh, red and I set uh, this layer as a vector replacement. Okay, so when I come here and see and click this layer one here, instead of generating using a PNG file or a JPEG file, I'm just gonna draw it uh, on the fly and I, I'm painting this red. Okay, so uh, I have this text layer here, which is the title, and I have uh, eight cards, cover, I'm calling them cover one, cover two, three, four. Eight. Okay. So if you if you need more cards in your game, you're gonna need to create more layers. Okay. So again, I don't need to create all of them because they are the same card. So what I did was I came here in Cover One. Okay. Went to the Layer Properties, and it's it's a, it's a regular layer. Okay, and I'm not doing anything different. I could export it as a JPEG because again, it's uh, it will use less memory, feel free to do so, especially because it's a rectangle image. But this is, layer, this is the cover one, 
just create a regular one. And what I did after was to select cover two to cover eight, all of them. Came back here to the layer properties, and one thing that it's different here is that render as. I'm render all those layers as cover one. So this way, instead of having eight cover cards with the same image, I simply uh, uh, I'm telling Quick to use cover one as the same image for everyone. So it will save also uh, disk space, okay, and and of course loading times. So this is, is, is the basic for the board and your boards, that's it. You may ask, hey Alex, where is the P, the P1 photo that you mentioned, the P1 uh, underscore of photo 2? They are not going to be used here. You are just call them as needed later on in your project. So let's, let's understand first uh, what makes um, a memory card. A memory card, in fact, you can program this in so many different ways. And in fact, when you see the, the final code, if you are a professional developer, you may say, oh, Alex, I could do it uh, much easier in just a block of code. Yes, you can. But again, the, pro the, the purpose here is to show people without uh, professional knowledge on how to code, how to use Quick and to mix this. So first thing that we need for our project uh, uh, is to create some variables. Variables will hold uh, information about the cards, will hold information when people have flipped one of card or not, because you know in a memory game you just can flip two times, otherwise it's, it would be easier to open all the, 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 the page. So we are going to set a few variables here, okay? So I have all set all of them here and again in the text below this this video here you're gonna have more details about each one but I'm create the first the first one that I'm creating is one that I'm calling uh, T as table list and what it has is it has the name the list I'm setting this as a number okay it's gonna be a local variable and I'm gonna add this before everything quick before the layers are rendered and I'm sending this as a table and inside this table I have this weird sequence of numbers and the weird sequence is basically 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and goes on. Basically it handles here 8 elements okay being number one twice, number two twice, number three twice, number four twice. And what are those elements? Those elements are pretty much these positions here. We are going to have two photo ones, two photo twos, two photo threes, and two photo fours. So what I'm using this list is telling my system that this table has eight elements and all of them are duplicate. Okay? So as simple as that. And again, more information about that in the code. Another uh, one that I need is this one that I'm calling ran list. It's basically a random list. And what it does, it, it will capture all the entries that Quick will generate randomically. So, for example, you don't want the, 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 the photo one being here and here, photo two here and here, photo three here and here. It would be very easy. So, for every time that the user decides to play the game, the, the cards will be randomically positioned. And this is the variable that will control that. So, it's an empty variable right now, but it's going to be a, a numerical one and it's going to be a table. Okay. The other variable that I need here is the one called flips. And flips, as I put here in the comment, holds the number of flips. So I'm going to control how many flips the user made while playing. So if he flipped twice around, he cannot be able to flip again. So this is the variable that will control this. So it's called flips. I'm starting with one. It's a number. It's a local. There is no table in this case. And I have another one, which I'm calling flip it. And flip it as it says here, holds the flipped cards. It, it will control the cards that are flipped already. So let's say you flip the card and you are right with cards two and two. They are going to be part of this, this table here. 
So these are the, the variables that you need uh, for, for controlling. But again, if you export just now, you cannot do anything because we need code to move the cards and to control everything. But before that, I need a way to uh, randomize the cards, to shuffle the cards, okay, as well as to position everything in, in the code. And this I'm, I'm doing with this external code here. Unfortunately, there's no way to do that at this moment magically in quick. So we'll, you will need uh, external code. And again, I'm explaining the external code just below this, this video here. But if you take a quick look here, what it does is there's a function, there's a function here that will shuffle the cards. Okay. There's another one here that will position each photo accordingly the position of the cards. For example, uh, when we see here again, when I flip this card here, I must position this image in the exactly position of the white cover. So pretty much what I'm doing here. So I have a, another table here, again, more explanation below, with every position of each element. So this way, for example, if my user click card two, I know that card two is positioning, uh, is positioning at 387 in the X, X and by 189. So I know the position, so this card will be put here, okay? Uh, and I'm adding this, this, this code on the top of my page. So before Quick uh, renders all the things, it will create this, this code for, for us, okay? So it's necessary again to shuffle and to get the correct position when uh, we are starting to, to press some buttons, okay? All right, so the other thing is, the buttons. Uh, I know I can shelf, I can do everything, but I don't have the buttons yet. So how to code the buttons? First thing to do, select the, the button that you want. In our case, the cover one. Okay, I have created a red. I can come here and say, okay, new button, but let's use the one that I create. Let me expand here. And the button is a pretty simple one. The only thing that it has is a block of code, okay? It's a relatively long block of code. Again, I'm going to explain everything down, downstairs here in this page. Uh, but what it does is, number the, 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 it controls the number of flips. So if the user is flipping uh, less than two times, so it can flip up to two, two, two cards. So it controls that. So it will animate the transition from the, the white to the photo. And, and also it will control, okay, the, the user flipped two times. What did he get the correct position of both cards? If so, fine, keep the cards over there. If not, hide the cards again and enable the user to, to play again. So this is the code and I create that. And I have to create this code pretty much to all buttons, uh, which I pretty much did till button six. I just forgot to do cover seven and cover eight. The best way to do that is pick the original code, which is this one here. Come here and say, uh, in fact, select here, but cover one, copy, pick the layer that you need to paste the code. In our case, cover seven, because I have done it already to cover six and paste. Rename it to cover seven and that's it and do the same for the cover eight. Paste, cover eight, and paste. And with that, when you publish your project, again, you'll be able to play your game. Not a match. If I try to click another card while there's two open, I cannot. As you can see here, I'm clicking, nothing is happening. But now, yeah, not yet, I'm not a good player. Let's see, oops, got one, got two, got three, got four. All right, again, take a look down, downstairs in this page uh, for more details about the code, especially the, the I'm gonna explain the, the variables as well as the external code and the button steps. All right, hope you like, thank you, bye-bye.